to another beautiful day in Villamore. As you can see, it's still dark outside. Just about to turn six. It's currently quarter to six. Heading downstairs to get my breakfast, which opens at 6 a.m. What we'll do is just sit downstairs for five, 10 minutes and wait for that to open. Then we'll get our breakfast, yogurt, banana, and some music. Then head off to training. I got watermelon this morning. Oh, I love watermelon, favorite fruit, and it's actually very really delicious, so. Mm. Too good. So in my bowl, I've got my banana, banana yogurt, some muesli, some cinnamon, and then I've got some honey I'm gonna add on as well. And that's gonna be delicious. Oh, that was delicious breakfast. Had about three plates of fruit, so I'm actually stuffed. I haven't had watermelon in the past two, three days, and that's my favorite fruit. And the fruit here is just amazing. I had to at least have two plates of that, so that's what I had. That was actually delicious. And I had the yogurt as well, with banana, muesli, honey, and a bit of cinnamon. And I'm ready to go for the day. So I'm gonna go out training now. And um, we're gonna get a taxi to training and then we're gonna head out. Uh, we got the car today, so we're gonna go exploring. I think it might be raining today, but it is what it is, and we're just gonna deal with it. Got out the taxi, walking to my dad's room because he's staying in this place where the pitch is. Gonna get the balls and probably head into the gym, do a little spin bike warm up, and then do some fun rolling. Gym actually opened at 7.30. It's currently just turned seven. Currently just turned seven. Instead of going to the gym, I've just come out to the pit. We'll just get started early. I'll do a warm up on the pitch. More of a, a longer warm up since I'm not going on the spin bike now. Obviously one person session because my brother's not out today. We're gonna focus in today's session on dribbling, shooting and crossing. And then once all that work's finished, we'll go into some fitness at the end. Warm up is now done. Uh, sorry, just been sprinting, but. Warm up is now done. Gonna get into this cone draw over here. What this basically is, is just any sort of dribbling you want through the cones. Got one out here as well, you can go out to. One blue one out there as well. Any sort of dribbling you want, just going through the cones, making sure you're being quick, getting your feet touches right. Then we'll move into a shorter technical crossing drill. And then more of a longer dribbling drill. In this Portugal sun, I tell you what. Next drill, next drill, I actually saw Matt Sheldon doing was you got like the edge of the six yard box here, stand somewhat to the corner of it, and you got the corner of the goal. What are you going to be aiming to do? Start the ball here and get it in the top corner. See, see where that little post thing is? 
where the little V thing is. That's where we're gonna wanna get it in that top corner. Just trying to curl it in. Basically, this is just a warm up drill to like the crossing and the finishing a bit. Just getting your accuracy, technical ability, just warming that up. And then we'll move into like a dribbling to finishing drill. Then we'll go crossing. Next drill, what we're doing, starting with the balls here, starting at the red cone, drive up. Well, we're gonna start probably at the red cone actually. Drive up to the blue one, cut back to the red, drive to the white, do a little 1v1 skill move, step over, whatever, cut inside and then cross it or finish it in with your right foot. Then we're gonna go to the other side, do it with our left foot. This side's good for me because I'm getting used to my right and I'm cutting in on my left. I'm cutting in that way because I'm on the left side as a left back anyway. You've got a cone here set out probably about 30 yards away, maybe 25, 30 yards, yeah, from the goal line. You're just gonna, what you're just gonna do, start with the ball here, just roll it out your feet, then cross it into the goal. So this is just to save the balls from going everywhere, and then it's good accuracy, so I can aim for where I want the ball to go in the area. So what I do here, come up to the ball, touch out my feet, and then roll, cross, into the goal.
seriously, that was an absolute tough one, I'm not kidding. Oh, been training for an hour and 42 minutes. Let me try to see if you can see this. Oh, it doesn't show it, but you can slightly see it. It's just turned 9 a.m. and I'm not getting picked up till around probably like half 10. So, might just play around, have a little juggle, do some free kicks, and maybe do that little little drill we did at the start where you cross it into the top corner. Might just do some more of that for fun, then probably head off, get a shower at like 10 a.m and then get picked up at half 10. Jim is just behind me down there. I've just been down there for about 15, 20 minutes, doing a bit of stretching, rolling, firm rolling. We'll be picked up by my mom now in the rental car. And we're gonna head off out for the day. I would never wait for something to let it go to waste. Just got now to the town. I had a few pieces of fruit that my mum bought from the hotel as a snack, but probably gonna get a little, another snack whilst I'm here. But Everything yeah, we're just walking down to the town now and it should be really nice. We said it was supposed to be raining today, but it's decent weather. This thing last, but we're running out of time. We were doing alright, holding on, but I'm losing the fight. that delicious pokeball chicken teriyaki pokeball for lunch and we're walking up past the side of the beach now going up the hill and just touring a bit and look at this absolutely insane view wow now currently in zara doing a bit of shopping at the amazing shopping center it's really big i'll show you guys the supermarket in the shopping center later it's absolutely massive watch how big this supermarket is oh my god they got a mini cafe there look at how big this is it goes literally on for miles look at all the way down there look at all these cheeses up here all along cheeses cheeses there's literally everything in this supermarket. Look at all the fruit and veg, there's so much. And then the fish, don't even get me started on how much fish there is. All of these are filled up with fish. Look at them all. Jesus. It's like a fish market in the supermarket. Look at all the fish, wow. Then all the meats as well, look at all the meats, Jesus. Look how much they have one supermarket. I've just been into the supermarket now and got a watermelon and some yogurts. We're heading back to the hotel because my uncle's got to get on a flight at home, but we're going to definitely come back here again, maybe tomorrow or the next day to get some food and enjoy that more. I got a massive half a watermelon though that I'm going to eat in the car. You throw all your old videos away that you don't use, the ones you use. I'm not from. Showered and changed now, ready to go out to dinner, just waiting. We're going out in about half an hour, so doing my reading for the day. Got my AirPods in because the TV's on, so just listening to reading music whilst I'm reading my 40 pages for the day. This week's book is Emotion by Design by Greg Hoffman. It's all about marketing and stuff like that. <laughs> Days. You never wait for Marina, about to go into a nice restaurant tonight. Um, not too sure what I'm gonna get. I can't quite remember what the restaurant is, like what type of food it is, but we're gonna see what when I get there and uh, should be a nice <laughs> Just finished that dinner, it came with some chips or fries on the side and I just swapped them out and just got a side of sauteed vegetables and also some steamed basmati rice. So I've got my carbs, my veggies, and then got the protein with the steak. So it's delicious dinner. Heading back to the hotel now. 
do a bit of reading and probably go to bed because we're going to train again in the morning early.